Good afternoon. As you can see, we are relaxing. <laughs> Ow. Big. <Dang>. Goodness. <laughs> Yeah, so whatever he said, I feel the same way. <laughs> so today is just like a chill day. We just been literally chilling all day. Nothing really to do. I have my yoga outfit on. I'm in the bed chilling. Like a villain. Um, I was thinking about actually I just don't even feel like doing nothing today. Have you ever just like not feel like actually doing anything today? Doing anything? Like for the whole day, who else feels like that out here? It's like you try to stay productive, but that doesn't work clearly. How about you? Do you like to? Uh, <laughs> do you? How do you stay productive, or do you like to chill? I guess he likes to chill. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, really, I have to literally just take a step back and reevaluate everything, um, I think I was moving a little too fast, so right now I'm just going to focus on life coaching real quick. Real quick. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on my life coaching. Right. Right now, I'm just going to focus on life coaching. I still do meditation. Um, that is a must. Uh, because I have to get my time in to myself. Uh, and speaking with God, that's the only time I can really hear him is when it's quiet. So... Uh, meditation's a must. I also am doing yoga, um, learning a little bit more about that. As you can see, I should be posting something tomorrow. So this is just like an update video. Um, let me get up so I can actually show you what this outfit looks like. So, um, this is one of my yoga outfits that I am loving so far. Um, I've tried on a lot of outfits. I've wore a lot of outfits, but I've been wearing this one, um, a lot lately. And I have big, like, boobies, so I have to make sure that when I'm doing yoga moves and I'm exercising and I'm running... And I am, I have a baby, clearly. So I have to make sure my stuff don't pop out. <laughs> so uh, this is what the outfit looks like. I'll do a 360 for you. And it is... If I put my leg up, it goes all the way to the end. And yes, I love it. Um, brown is my favorite color, so definitely will be 
using this as an outfit to sell and like i said it's not just for yoga it's not just for exercising um clearly this is an outfit i can like wear with a cute out with a cute clothes i can add some heels to this a nice little jacket and be on my way so um as my outfit that i will be selling this is definitely one maybe i'll keep this colors um a surprise sorry maybe i'll keep the colors a surprise about you know the colors i want to sell um but definitely love this outfit how do you like it i guess that's a yeah <laughs> So, um, yeah, I am definitely just chilling today. You know, I had to, sometimes we have to rest, you know, we can't just work, work, work. Sometimes we must rest. It's like a must. I also, um, let me put the camera down. I picked up this book from Amazon. It's a spiritual, uh, self-care for black women. Um, and I feel like sometimes I can just work, work, work um, and take care of everybody else around me. But sometimes I have trouble with focusing on my self-care needs. Um, so I ordered this book from Amazon, Spiritual Self-Care for Black Women. And I'm going to really try to start, you know, filling it out weekly. Um I also ordered a new um, journal. Let me go get the journal real quick. You stay right there, little baby. <laughs> Let me run. Okay, so I got a new journal. Let me hear you can get back to my baby real quick. <laughs> Hi, baby. Get it. All right, so I found this journal at my local TJ Maxx. Um, it was $10. Actually, it's not a journal. I don't know why I keep saying journal. Planner. And it's a planner for 2022, so I'm already ahead of the game. And this time, I'm going to stay focused. I'm going to actually fill this out every single day. Sorry, there. It's a little bit brighter. And um, I really like this journal. It still has a little bit of August from uh, this year. Right now, I'm working on September. Um, and as you can see, I already started. Um, it has September goals, September birthday, September anniversaries, September's to do on the first page. And then you get into the actual daily calendar. And then um, after that, each day has like a little section where you can write out in details about whatever you need to write. So um, I'm going to start really diving in this once a day in the morning. I'm going to start trying to plan my weeks, but sometimes I feel like I get overloaded and I just need to rest and like when I feel like I need to rest, I get anxious. My thoughts are crazy. Um, I'm all over the place. So now that I'm learning myself, um, now I know my signs where, hey, cut everything off for a minute, breathe, take care of yourself. And so um, this is where this comes in from. I forgot how much it costs, but it's a 12 month planner and guided journal with self-reflection activities. So um Basically, it says, I spent time in nature. I practiced prayer, meditation. Um, I took time for personal reflection, which is journaling, for example. I made time to read, listen to things that inspired me. I focus on being in the present. So, um, yeah, and then it basically has, like, you know, self-care planner, my goals for this week, my affirmation for this week. Um, what I did well this week, what I like to work on next week. So my goal is to start doing this. I feel like it, the hardest thing we can do is 
start new things because we have to put them in on our lives. But I know once I get started and I force myself to do this every single day, it definitely will, um, you know, take a hold on my life and actually get it, you know, flowing better. So, um, yeah, this is just a quick video just for an update. Um, just to, you know, check in with my YouTube fam. Um, and one thing I want to talk to you guys about, I've talked to Instagram about it. And I've been talking to God about, you know, what is love? So, you know, I've been struggling with that. And one thing that I'm going to do um, is try to keep understanding the meaning of love keep trying to show and display love and um conquer all my fears and doubt with the power of love so i'm on a journey for that i'm on a lot of journeys guys <laughs> but i'm just glad that you know god has patience he has forgiveness and uh he's taking his time with me um, which is a good thing because I uh, require a lot of time. <laughs> so yeah, I ordered, I got two little new things pick up. So I encourage you guys to get your planner ready for next year because it is coming up fast. You know, we're already going into ne October next year and little baby's birthday is in November. He's turning one. If you started on this channel with me, you know, it was a journey from the beginning with his pregnancy. And now he is here in the flesh, and I'm thankful. You hear him in the back. So, um, yeah, so I definitely will be doing this. I recommend you out there, um, especially if you are a woman of color. You know, the reason why I picked this is because uh, women of color, um, we, we, don't, we don't grow up with things such as being in nature, meditating, um, um doing art dancing like you know like we don't make that a habit to as something that we need to do and which is crazy because on my vision board i have redefining self-care redefining self-care so you know like how i used to take care of myself when i was in my 20s because now i'm 30 um it's going to be different. You know, I have a child, I have a family, I have a lot of things going on in my life. I have to figure out what self-care looks like at this time and age. And especially with, you know, a pandemic going on and all that extra stuff, I need to figure out, like I said on my vision board, that's why vision boards are crazy. Sorry, I'm just talking, but vision boards are amazing. You need to make a vision board um, if you need my help, please reach out to me. Um, I look at my vision board every single day um, and I made it and I feel like the things that you put on it, I made this in June and I'm still dealing with this self-care, you know, conquering fear, uh, believing in love, um, meditating, exercising. I'm still trying to hold that vision up for the rest of this year and um it's good that you put your vision board on your wall display it on your wall so um you can always come back to it and remind yourself to stay in the present that is something that i deal with so i just love vision boards um if you need my help please reach out to me um i'm going to be keeping you guys hey 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 I'm going to keep you updated on this um, and see how that goes. Um, I should be uploading a meditation uh, video by tomorrow. Um, and yeah, um, that is it. Oh, yeah. Prayer calls. So I stopped doing prayer calls on Instagram at 530 in the morning. Um, it was good, but I do want that conversation, you know, um, to have with somebody. So prayer cards are only going to go towards workshops and webinars and my, uh, woman in charge group. Also, um, I have a workshop coming up tomorrow at 7 PM 
My link is in the bio, MichaelaWilliams.com. You can register there. I'm going to be talking about the art of action and how action is so important for change and to find your true self. So um, um, look into that. The link is in the bio. I have a webinar coming up tomorrow. I'll probably try to post it on YouTube um, if I can figure out how to do that and record it all at the same time. So um, thank you, YouTube family, uh, for following me. Thanks for subscribing. Um, pick up your calendar for next year. Get organized. I'm going to be trying to do the same and make sure you're taking care of yourself because um, nobody else can't take care of you but you. So I'm going to be trying to do that um, more. And I want to vlog more um, also. So, Dude, say goodbye to the people. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>